Hello, I'm the French Minister for Transport, Jean-Baptiste Djebari, and I would like to thank A4E for hosting this event. Lately, it seems uh, we've been going through one crisis to another, COVID and the war in Ukraine. These are really tough times, both for the world and aviation. But they also remind us how vital airline transport is. It is an aircraft that brought masks and vaccines all over the planet. And it is aircraft as well that brings uh, humanitarian support to the Ukrainian people. The world needs aviation. It is delusional to think that we could do without it. But it is just as delusional to think that we could keep things the way they are. We need to transform aviation to decarbonize it. With the declaration of Toulouse, manufacturers, airlines and more than 40 states committed to do so by 2050. I want to thank the members of A4E for joining it. It is very important uh, for us, it's an important milestone, but it's only the first. Coming up is the uh, ICAO General Assembly in September, where we will be uh, defending a long-term aviation goal of net zero emissions by 2050. This is the only relevant level of action, because we want to reduce pollution, not delocalize it. However, sustainability is not only a matter of greenness, it's also a matter of fairness, of safety and of uh, social justice. We cannot go on with pay to fly or fake self-employment. We need to put an end to these abusive behaviors and we need to do so at EU level. Regarding open skies agreements, we uh, want to be careful to ensure that both social and environmental provisions are fully applied. And if we want Europe to be credible, this is crucial. Just as decarbonization must be set at world level, regulation must be at EU level. It would not make sense to do it on our own. So let's act together as Europeans. I know I can count on you for that. Thank you again for this event and thank you for giving me the chance to share this message.